Hi friends, welcome back for this week's story. So I hope you guys all had a wonderful Mother's Day. So we finished our deliveries for the all the families and make sure that you keep watering the plant and putting it in the sun. And when the seedling grows up, plant it outside. Yeah. And um, let's start our um, hello song. So we'll do it the hello song, then read a story and then goodbye song. Friends, find a corner or find a place. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you touch it? Hi. Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Can you touch up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? I hope you enjoyed that song. So now, Miss Elena is going to read a story. It's story time. See you next week. Bye. Hi friends. Okay, so we are in the middle of our circle time. So now we are going to read a story. Our book this week, because it's spring, is one of my favorites. It's Eric Carl, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. So these tiny little caterpillars need food and then they grow into bigger caterpillars. And I wonder, you can make a prediction about what they grow into before we read the book. Use your noodle, think about it. Maybe tell your mom, dad, aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whoever is at home with you, um, what you think the caterpillar turns into. Okay. Let's find out. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, one, two, but he was still hungry. He's poking out there. He's looking for more food. So on Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three, three plums. But you know what? He was still hungry. He's right there. So on Thursday, he ate through how many strawberries? One, two, three, four. Four strawberries. But you know what? This little caterpillar was so hungry. He wasn't full yet. Here he is. On Friday, he ate through one, two, three, four, five oranges. Do you think he was done? I don't think he's full. He's not full yet. So on Saturday, oh my goodness, look at all the things he ate. You ready for this one? He ate through. One piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. Are those caterpillar foods? Hmm, I don't know. But that night he had a big stomach ache. Look at his face. He looks sick. I don't think he's feeling very happy right now. And the next day it was Sunday again. 
And the caterpillar made a green choice and he ate through a very nice green leaf. And you know what? He felt much better after that. He's back to his happy self again. But he wasn't a hungry caterpillar anymore. And you know what? He also wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He decided to build himself a small house called a cocoon all the way around himself. And he stayed inside for more than two weeks. So that's a long time, that's 14 days. Then he nibbled a hole in his cocoon, pushed his way out of the cocoon, and guess what he transformed into? A beautiful butterfly. Look at that, all the pretty colors. All right, friends, that was a great book. And later this week, we are going to do um, an activity about that book. So keep your eyes peeled on Thursday for that. It was nice seeing you. And I'm gonna give it over to Miss Danielle now to do our goodbye song. Hi, friends and families. We have sang our hello song. We read a really good story today. And now it's time for our goodbye song. Put your fingers at the top. Circle time is all done, all done, all done. Circle time is all done. Now it's time to go and play. We'll see you next week.